That feeling when you got a cut on your lip. Hello everyone, it is me, Jer Gaming here, and um... I haven't really done a proper welcome back, so... Here I am. As you guys obviously have known, I've been gone throughout practically the entire October on my YouTube and kind of my Discord, since I think there were definitely a few occasions where I did pop up, but like, that was was pretty rare. I only popped up like... Once? And I do have a reason for it, so... I'll get started with my reasons and what was been going on and why I decided to leave all of a sudden. Um, first reason, I don't like Halloween. I, I really don't. I, I just don't like Halloween. I don't like it as a whole. I don't know why. I, I just have something personal against it and I can't remember what it was, but I just always had a personal grudge against it and it's, I guess it's just been with me. And October is always that perfect year of absolute ridiculous horror. So I guess that's why I've been gone, because I just didn't want to hang out in that type of stuff. And um, yeah. Second, there was this one week where I was in Hawaii. And it was... It was relatively fun there. It was relatively fun. Thirdly, which is probably my biggest one, um... I kind of tried to practice getting out of my weird, strange, bad habits that I used to have always been in, but it's, I guess, started falling apart. But it was also, I guess, October was also mainly used to stay away from the things that I naturally would do on a day-to-day -day basis that you naturally wouldn't do. Like, uh, hop right on a Discord or start making YouTube videos and all that kinds of stuff. I just wanted to take a break from that. I wanted to take a break from all of that. I, I didn't want to hang out on either one of those medias because it just... Something about it started becoming a chore to me. And... It felt weird, like, I'm not- admittedly, when I first got back on Discord, it didn't feel as pleasant as I thought it was going to be. Like, the first arrival back, like, days before the end of October, something about it just wasn't pleasant. Something about it just didn't feel right, and it made me uncomfortable to even come back. That's- that's- that's the weird thing. If it, if it feels weird to come back to something that should be fun, but now feels like a chore, then something's wrong, and that's, I was trying to figure that out, and I think I figured it out. I think it's not the general idea of just being on Discord just so much. I think it's the general idea of me talking to you guys on Discord so much. Something about it has become more of a chore than an actual fun-related thing, and I've... I'm not honestly for sure why is that. Admittedly, there are definitely a few people that I am completely comfortable talking with. One of them, of course, being Trey. But he's kind of one of the only people, actually. And, again, I'm not really for sure what this is. And why do I get this uncomfortable feeling of hanging out with people on Discord? I'm not really for sure why. And... I just thought that... Taking a break from it would have been better. And taking a break for a whole month away from it, well, almost a whole month, taking almost a whole month off of Discord didn't really change anything. And something about that really made me upset. And it, it started making me really worried if I should even bother coming back. Which I, this is, this is not the end of me when it comes to Discord. I will never leave Discord. This is just more of a, I'm going to be a lot less active on Discord. I'll probably like, I'll probably like pop up once or twice on the weekends, which naturally I would do it like every day on the weekend, or even I would even try on the weekday. But I don't think that's going to be possible anymore. I think I'm going to definitely stay off of the weekdays, depending on some weekdays if they're just weekdays where I take a break from school or something else. But the weekends, it's gonna be like once, and luckily twice. The second one will more than likely just be because of a live stream. But that's about it. Again, something about talking to you guys personally feels more like a chore 
and I don't know why it just it just doesn't make me feel comfortable and yeah but I guess pushing that all off to the side uh, let's talk about a few things that I'm doing in the future so uh, just throwing this out of the way just really quick I've heard about the wave 3 Kensa weapons I've heard about them I don't want anyone to tell me about it because I've already heard about it it's been blowing up all over my Instagram and a little bit of my Twitter but in terms of my YouTube channel stuff um, what are the things that is going on you may ask in terms of you know videos I'm be doing and animations I be doing um, first off in terms of videos I might actually off try my best to not record as much Splatoon 2 regular videos as often for several reasons um, some of them feel a little bit irrelevant if you know what I mean like it just doesn't feel worth making a Splatoon video unless it was something very special but in other cases it's just not worth it, it I legitimately cannot find a reason to record Splatoon 2 except for just making a live stream but live streams and twitch live streams don't count I'm talking about videos the ones you could just watch on your own I can't find a reason to do that anymore other than the Splatfest, but that's about it. Otherwise, I just can't find a reason to just record Splatoon 2 anymore, except for the Splatfest and the live streams. But again, I don't count them. Um, in terms of other videos, though, I hopefully may do more stuff on Dragon Ball Fighters. I don't guarantee it, but I can try at least. I was supposed to do a Dragon Ball Fighters live stream, but you know, whatever. Um, in terms of Gary's mod animations, I've or I'm or I already thought of the next title of my Gary's mod animation, and I already thought of what I'm going to do with it. The real problem is, is that I'm gonna be uploading part one more than likely next year. So you're probably gonna get it, be getting it like in the middle of January at the very most, or at the very minimum. I don't plan on uploading anything Gary's mod and well okay I shouldn't say that q and A. I'll talk about that later but this in the Q&A I don't plan on uploading anything Gmod related this year until the very end I want to kind of relieve the stress a little bit and just wait off a little but let's talk about what's the title project I'm working on it's called two enemies that's all I'm gonna tell you the title is called two enemies and I have a feeling you can already suspect who the characters will be in it but at the same time you won't and I'm gonna do something a little bit different with uh, two enemies um, naturally on the other animations that you guys saw I had them uploaded by three parts even though all of them I tried to upload by two parts I uploaded them by three and I figured out why I uploaded them by three all three parts have something different the first part being an introduction the second part being the middle part which is like something that is a little bit more dynamic the third part being either the ending of it or the other dynamic part two enemies what will that contain potentially four or five parts what? yes that is right I am splitting up this project into five or four parts. That's all I'm going to say. I'm splitting it up into four or five parts, and the title is Two Enemies. That is all I'm giving out. The Q&A. What about the Q&A that you guys have been looking for, too? Um, I am very much hoping to upload that by December, at least before Christmas. That's all I can say. Just hope I uploaded it before Christmas, and um, yeah. And before I also end off this video, or I guess I told all my plans, jeez, I guess I'm really horrible at talking to people. <laughs> That's really funny. Shut up! But, um, thank you. Thank you very much for blowing me out of the water. Um, 3,000 of you people. Let's clap it all up. Let's clap it all up. We got 3,000 subscribers. 3,000 people that love my content, and I never, ever thought I would have reached that much. And I think what's really ironic about it is that I literally 
predicted we have a thousand by the end of the year. We have like three times as much as what I predicted. Heck, you guys blew off my prediction like twice. Like we got to a thousand subscribers by the middle of summer. Then we got 2,500 by like September or August. I'm not really for sure. I think it was August. But I think it's crazy how you guys can just do that. So, subscriber goal for next year. I'll think about it. If some, um, I'll mostly, it mostly depends on if, um, I get a unreasonable amount of subscribers by the end of this year. Because we only have, like, a little less than two months, technically. So, you know, see what you guys can get on to. Anyways, guys, um, I'm back. In a weird, prop in a weird improper way. I kind of already revealed my arrival, like, twice. But this is a proper one, and this is a true one. If you guys enjoy watching this video, do the usual. Give it a like, share the video, subscribe to the channel if you want some of me. And I'll see you guys whatever we do next. Take care, everyone, and God bless you all.